So we know that cows produce milk. From milk comes cream. And from cream, we actually get my favorite food, ice cream. Ice cream is still our primary business. That's why people come here. That's what they love. In 1952, Richardson's Farm began making the sweet treat. Today, Dave Daniels and his family operate a wholesale business, two stands, and make more than 50 flavors at this Middleton farm. It's a whole different feel when you come to our ice cream shop or our farm. You can tell you're not at a factory. There's nothing corporate going on here. The employees, you know, a lot of them live right around here. They're a big part of our business. The whole from start to finish, it's just a different atmosphere than you get at basically any other ice cream shop or farm. The farm produces around a million gallons of ice cream every year. They don't skimp on the mix-ins. The Milky Way ice cream has pieces of the candy bar throughout, and most of the milk comes directly from behind the ice cream stand at the nearly 330-year-old farm. It's helped us to get enough money to completely redo the farm again, and it's, it's set now probably for the next 40 years before it needs a large refresh again. Mm -hmm. And that's really one of our main goals outside of business, is to continue this as a farm forever. And part of that is you have to reinvest massive amounts of money back into it and make sure the next generation is set up for success. Looking to the future, the four farms we visited tonight all hope that the perfect balance of innovation and tradition will preserve New England's celebrated dairy farming community for generations to come. Farmers want to care for the land. I mean, that's what they're going to give to their children and their children's children. We're not just a dairy farm. We've got vegetables going. We've got a beef program going. You know, you get kind of bogged down doing the same thing day after day after day. And it just, it's a really good feeling to be able to do something that you really, really want to do. Just being involved every step of the way is a lot of fun. And, and it's not just us. We have a great team that helps a ton. Like, we could not do it without the help we have. So important um, to be able to create this food for our community, and it's amazing to be able to work with large animals and with our community members here. And Dave Daniel says, choosing a favorite ice cream is like choosing a favorite child, something you just don't do. He did say that he has a particular love for ice creams with a swirl right now, a caramel swirl or a chocolate swirl, the like. And Ted's favorite? Currently, it's German chocolate cake. Wisely, Ted said nothing about his children. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here again tomorrow night. Good night, everyone.